Good morning, Messiah. This is Pastor Chuck, and it's good to be with you again on uh, this Wednesday. Uh, the devotional text today is from Luke, the sixth chapter, and I want to uh, share it with you now. Now, during those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose 12 of them, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew and James and John and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James, son of Alphaeus and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured, and all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out of him, and he healed all of them. It's a wonderful um, gathering a story. The story um, begins with Jesus in prayer. And I like to think of Jesus uh, spending the night in prayer as a, as a time to refocus and recenter, uh, to gather to himself the gifts of God, the spirit and presence of God, um, to become grounded in what he was being called to do as God's representative here on earth. And as he became centered and grounded, as he gathered those gifts to himself, to himself, he was able to um, then share that with an ever-expanding community of people. He chooses 12 in particular, but there are more around him, and even more around them. There becomes this expanding uh, circle of community. You might think of it as a community that's not standing in a circle facing one another, but but is more um, uh, variable than that, that sometimes they face one another, sometimes they face out to the world. Um, uh, they are able to see each other's face and the face of those in need in the world, and they respond to that. Um, people come to Jesus to to hear him and to be healed of diseases, to be cured of unclean spirits, and as he is there in their presence, both in the smaller community of 12 and the more expansive communities around that, power is distributed. I think that's the amazing part of this story, is uh, Luke says, and all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out of him, and all were healed. This sense of the distribution of, of power the ability to affect change in people's lives. Um, people are drawn to that. And that as they're drawn to that and hear Jesus, uh, their lives are changed. And it's, it is to me this day, this Wednesday, that we represent that, that original Jesus presence that original Jesus community of 12, and then the circles around the 12 of, of more disciples and more apostles and, and, and then the crowds, we represent that to the world. And the world is drawn to the community that follows Jesus um, because the, the world can see that Jesus affects change in our lives. He does that, that's his um, purpose and mission here on earth is to affect change in people's lives. Here in Luke, it's it's about healing and curing and, and healing again. But we now, in 2020, are the community that represents Jesus to the world. And that as we do that, the world begins to be drawn to us. And I know that's strange to say because we're in the middle of a a pandemic, and we, we can't gather like we once did, but we're still a community. We're a very powerful community for change, uh, for the better in, in our neighborhoods, our, our towns, our cities, here in the state of Washington and beyond. We have been called, like those original disciples, 
to be the ongoing living embodiment of Jesus uh, in the world. And so as you go forth into your, um, your work, your life, uh, your play, uh, whatever it is that this day brings, uh, your learning, your teaching, I invite you to think about this. How today are, are you, are we, in our daily life, going to represent Jesus to others? Because they will be drawn uh, to that ability we have to be, to be as him for the world. And what kind of power will be drawn out of us to be shared with others? That in the midst of all the trials and tribulations of our time, there can be through us a continued powerful working of Jesus in his life and ministry through us right here, right this day. I'd like to hear um, how that works for you. How did, How's that happening for you? Don't be afraid to give me a call or an email and let me know. Hey, Pastor Chuck, today the power of Jesus was distributed from me in this way. I'd like to hear about that. It'd be great to be able to share in those stories with one another and celebrate how Jesus is alive and active in our world today. God bless you all. I love you. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye now.